Hi guys, in this video we are going to see how we can show app open ads in storyboard based application in Swift. Okay, here's our iOS application. So uh, you have to download this project that I attach in the video description and open your project also. I'm going to create a new project. File, new, uh, yeah. Project. Then go ahead as a new project. I'm going to say the product name as sample app open ads. Okay. Select the interface as a storyboard and the language as shift. If your project is already created, just open that. And the next step is add AdMob SDK into your project. If it is already added, you can skip this part. Now I am going to add that. To add that, I can say apps.admob.com in the browser and go ahead and create a new app. Say at iOS. If the application is in the App Store, we can select yes, otherwise no. I'm going to say sample app open ads as the app name. Finally, I'm going to add the app. Okay, done. So next step, go to add units, then get started. Select app open ad. I'm going to say the add unit ID as app open ads unit. Okay, done. Next step is click this email implementation instructions button. Send email and you will receive some email from AdMob. Open that and then click this Google Mobile Ads SDK guide. Then we can copy this on port mobile ads SDK. Otherwise, uh, we can also go ahead with this URL. I will show you that. Let's me just set up the AdMob using Cocoa Pods. So, in your finder, go to project location and uh, you had to open your terminal and type the command cd then just drag your project to the terminal as follows and then say pod init then we have to type the command open hyphen a xcode pod file okay now in this pod file you will see this pods for uh, your application name. There you go, you can paste your pod uh, google hyphen mobile hyphen at hyphen sdk. Otherwise, all you have to do just uh, copy this URL and then go to export in your project, click file. Uh, you will see this let's say yeah add packages file add packages then paste your URL there and then select this one save package manager google mobile ads then click add package uh, our part is not done for cocoa pods currently so you have to say pod install Okay, so if you are not using Cocoa Pods, you can just do that as follows file, add package, and paste the URL here. Then save this package, then add package. That's all. Okay, and the next step is in the same page, you will see this code for 
info dot plist. You have to copy those code. There are a bundle of uh, key value pairs and open your Xcode, then right click this info. That's the info dot plist file. Then open as source code. Okay. Inside this dig key, you have to paste your code. Okay. Now you can right click info dot plist file, click open as property list. Now you will see this GAD application identifier and you have to paste your application ID there. Go to AdBlock dashboard, go to app settings of your app, copy this app ID, paste that here. Click enter. Now make sure this ID and the app ID are same. Yes, those are same. Okay, next step is open this app delegate. In this did finish launching with options method application method you had to say yeah firstly we had to run import that is not showing that because if you check your project folder you will see this sample app opponents dot uh, your project name dot xc workspace but currently we are working with x dot xcode proj that's why it is not working so I can close that and open this white color one now probably it should work in app delegate we can say import Google mobile ads okay now we have to open the page that we opened previously and if you scroll to down you will see this code for app delegate that will initialize the mobile ads SDK. So you have to copy this GAD mobile ads dot shared instance dot start and completion handler is nil. Paste that in this application function. That's all. And you have to open the project that you downloaded. Then open this main dot storyboard. And if you zoom in, you will see this single view controller that's called a splash view controller you have to copy that one select it select everything for this view controller as follows press command and c in your keyboard and in your project open the main dot storyboard then paste that view controller to there okay and the next step is if you see this one, this arrow, you have to drag that to the splash view controller that you pasted because that will point, this will be the uh, starting view controller. When you so open that, this will be the starting view controller. Okay, next step is select your current view controller that was in your project, uh, which, one, which is the one that open as the first view controller when user open that tab click editor in the top and you have to uh, make sure you selected this view controller click editor then uh, embed in select navigation controller okay the last thing here we have to do Select this navigation controller, make sure it is blue. Here it will be, uh, it, the color will be blue now if you selected that. Then select this button called, let's see, there should be some name for the, yeah, show the identity inspector. Click that button and check this storyboard ID. You had to so type something like uh, main navigation controller or whatever you want I will type main navigation controller then in the project that you downloaded you will see this splash view controller and the app open ad manager shift files 
then paste that in your project. Now the next step, open the project that you downloaded, open this app delegate, then if you go to the down, you will see this application did become active function. Copy that and paste that in your app delegate. Okay, so the last thing is open this app open ad manager and you have to replace this app open add unit id go to add mob dashboard go to add units and copy the add unit id then paste that all right so that's a one thing you have to check before you run your application. Do you remember we changed this navigation controller storyboard ID as main navigation controller? So if you go to the splash view controller, make sure this identifier in this start main screen function is same as the identifier you provided. You have to paste that there if difference. So we can go ahead and run our application with the to ensure the app open ads are visible. I forgot something. In your downloaded project, if you go to app delegate you will see this app open ad manager dot shared dot load ad under this function. You have to copy that and paste that in the same function available in your project app delegate. Paste that as follows, then run the application again. Now we should be able to see the app open ads. Here we go. The app open ads is working. Okay. Alright. I hope this video helps. If this video helps, please subscribe. Thank you.